It is Indonesia. So where are we going? We're going to... Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> this video is a bit ridiculous, but we're gonna try it anyway. I've got a map of Indonesia. Where are we going? <laughs> I've got a dart. Bam. Nice. <laughs> we have the dart. And we're gonna combine the two. And then later you can throw, throw a map at a dart. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the map. My mapsterpiece, if you will. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's good. So first we need to establish the rules. Rule number one. You cannot talk about map club. Rule number one. Part two. Rule number one, part two, is if we throw a dart and it lands in the ocean, then we have to throw again because we can't physically travel to here. Yeah, although we'd love to, and I'm sure this part of the ocean is very nice. It's gonna be very difficult to get there. And if you look at this map, a lot of this map is blue. That's because a lot of it is the ocean. So we may have to throw a few times. If it's really, no, it needs to land on green, right? Needs to land on green. Needs to land on green within Indonesia. And rule number two. If it's your first night in map club, you have to fight. What should I say? You have to map. <laughs> but you have to throw a dart. You okay. have to throw a dart. <laughs> if it's your first night of map club, you have to throw a dart. Thanks, John. Rule number two, part two, is if it lands on somewhere we've been before, we throw again. Because I've, uh, as much as I love the places I've been in Indonesia, I want to see somewhere new. Are you ready? I'm ready. I just want to take another second to admire my map work here. Hey, rule number three, you're going to be blindfolded. Okay. So there's three rules. <laughs> rule number four, you can't talk about map club. <laughs> but before this starts, I want to say that we have absolutely no idea where we're going. This is not pre-planned at all. We haven't booked flights or a boat or anything like that. And as soon as this dart lands, we're going to try and get there. So if we can book the flight straight after this, then we will. No matter where it lands, we're going to try and get as accurately as possible to where it is. And even if that's like a remote town in the middle of nowhere, we're going to get to where that dart lands. Well, to be honest, mate, you can you can use the uh, unfortunate shadow. Yeah, well, it's kind of where I love. Yeah. We've got the flip-flop shadow system in play. Shadows, yeah. And uh, regulated by the um, World Dart Map Throwing Association. Oh, WMTA. WMTA, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, can, can you confirm that you can't see anything? I can see, I'm just gonna double it okay. over. In line with the rules of the WMTA, yeah. you need to make one full spin. One full, one full spin? Yeah. Oh, well, like this? Yeah. Okay, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's so close. <laughs> it's so close. I'm kind of glad that it didn't land on land because that is basically right next door to us. Although it kind of has, hasn't it? I think it might have. Wow. What is it? Pulo Moyo. I mean, I don't think we can't can argue with it, can we? Let me have a look at my phone, then we can zoom in a bit more because yeah. I've, I've put a hole where the piece of land may have been. Well, that could just be the name above. No, well, because that's like. Yeah, let's have a look. We'll, we'll confirm it on the Google Maps. No, well, I know because that's that's the piece of land though. There, that's Pula Moyo. Look on that on that. Yeah. See that? See that? That's the landmass. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And that's just the name above it. So we are confirming it here, and um, so that's Pula Pula Moyo, and we landed just above it. So we go again. I'm sorry to say, mate, I think that's a rethrow. Yeah, I think it is. To be honest, I'm kind of happy with that, though, because although it would have been cool to get it on the first throw, uh, that's only on Sumbawa, and that's not very far from where we are right now in Lombok, so it'd be cooler to go somewhere, like, more remote. And also, if you throw again, then it's more watch time. <laughs> throw this way, I think. Did you do full, full rotation first, mate? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Gamesmanship. Okay, I'm feeling here. Okay. Make sure the dart's the right way around. <laughs> That's nowhere near, right? Eh? I think uh, we have to go here. No. <laughs> yeah, well, we've done it. Completed it, mate. Not the video. He's achieved map! But it is in the middle of the ocean. That's twice you've achieved map, mate. Two maps. It's a full map. It's now dawning me that this could take a while. Yeah. Is it? It's a map! It's 
It's map. It's map, but it's ocean. <laughs> Always hit it, but it's just off the map. By the way, th this is like one of the least traveled and most remote parts of Indonesia, so um, that would have been very interesting. Oh, man. <laughs> Way off. Yeah. I felt the flip flops and uh, <laughs> thought it was good. You can see the concentration in his eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lucky. Oh. Oh. Is it map? Oh, oh mate! It map. It's like. It's right. <laughs> Is that Indonesia? I think that might be the Malaysian side. Is it a Google Maps time? Yeah, we need to see where Mount. Where. Mutalang is. Okay. I think it's just on the Malaysian side. I'd like to go to Kalimantan though. You know in like YouTube videos where they're like, and this carried on for hours and you don't really believe them. Um, yeah, this is happening yeah. right now. <laughs> We're getting news in just now from our respondent, Jordan Simons. It's funny. Mate, have a look at this. It is. Oh my goodness. Right on the border, but it is, it is Indonesia. So where are we going? We're going to Metalang. Okay. Mutilong in South Kayan, um, Malamu Regency in North Kalimantan. Kalimantan. You up for that? Yeah, man. <laughs> that, that's definitely down for it. Uh, that's good because you have no choice. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, Actually, is it in the mountains? It's in the mountains. Whew. It does look like there's an airport close to it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, never been, to, never been to Kalimantan. You've never been? No. Either. Okay, yeah, sweet. I, w I wonder if this place is dangerous. Could well be. <laughs> Could well be. <sighs> right then. Here we go. Next stop, Matalang. Yay. Next stop, Kalimantan. <laughs> that Actually, sounds we, better. <laughs> we need to figure out how we're doing it now. Now, we need to actually do this. So, um, I'm going to start having a look to see where this place is and how we get there. Perfect timing. The internet in our Airbnb just stop working. So um, <laughs> we're gonna make this happen. I'm gonna go out and, there's the cockerel. I'm gonna go out and find some internet in a coffee shop. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We've come to Bamba and the internet is working so we can get on with this video. <laughs> right, uh, Lombok to Metulang. Metulong. That's where it is. So we need to find out where the closest airport is. How do you even find that? I've never searched for travel in this way. Yeah. Metulang does not have an airport. <laughs> what is even near it? Nothing's coming up on this map. Yeah, That's how do you do it? <laughs> I don't know. Don't think this is gonna be easy. What airports can you fly to in Kalimantan? Yeah, this isn't as easy as even I thought it would be, to be honest. Well, at least we know that we're going somewhere really obscure that no one ever goes to. <laughs> we found Long Apung Airport, which seems to be the closest place we can fly. Why couldn't we have just gone to Pula Moyo? I know, mate. <laughs> Should have just taken that. This looks hard. Looks For a like hundred kilometers around this place, it seems like there's no easy way to get here. Well, no even, not even an easy way, but there's no way. I feel like another rule should have been, it has to be possible to get there. <laughs> yeah, possibly. That could have been a good rule. We've spent two hours searching so far. Um, yeah, let's regroup. <laughs> now it all makes sense. <laughs> right, so we just found, uh, right, okay. So here is the national park. That's where we're trying to get. This is the entirety of the national park. Look at the size of that. And the national park is pretty much touching where the dart landed. So if we can get here, I'm calling it a win because it seems impossible to get to that other place. The park has the largest block of untouched jungle left in Borneo. And Borneo is pretty much a jungle in itself. And we're going to the largest part of untouched jungle. So we're going like as deep and remote as we possibly can. I'm gonna say if we can get to this national park, that's good, right? I think so. Kayan Mentarang National Park. Reset, but let's see how possible this is first. <laughs> right, it says to get there, we need to fly to Long Apung. What a good idea! <laughs> <laughs> it is a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. It's something we've been looking on how to do for the last. Two Some hours. airlines services the route to Long Apung. Due to the short airstrips, limited seats require advance booking of minimum one month beforehand. Yeah, that's a spanner in the works, isn't it? Hmm. Clearly, this 
isn't gonna happen right now. I wanted to get this video out anyway, even though <laughs> the ending isn't necessarily what we had in mind when we started this. And it is a video I'd like to make eventually, but I don't think that'll be for another couple months or who knows when. But eventually I'm gonna be throwing a dart at that map and traveling somewhere at all, <laughs> rather than just ending up back where we started. But that's, that's how it is right now, and you know, there, there are bigger problems in the world, but at least I wanted to create some sort of video, and I wanna keep creating as well. I wanna keep getting things out, and I feel like if you enjoy something, and if you're good at something, then don't let, don't let this stop you. Let it encourage you into another creative way, another creative avenue. Keep putting things out there, and keep, keep spreading messages of positivity and keep going with the thing that you care about and the thing you like doing because eventually this will all blow over. This will all be solved in one way or another and then people are gonna want people like you that have skills and creativity to keep doing the things you're good at. So keep going with things. I'm gonna keep going creating videos and I hope you at least enjoyed this. <laughs> Maybe eventually when we can, I'll do the second part of this video where we actually get to fly to Kalimantan and um, get to go to the place we were planning to. But for now, I'll just leave it there and just say, stay safe wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Can, um, can you tell me rule number two? You've got a... No. <laughs>